Mr. Yearsley, uh, will uh, sanctions work uh, that if, if they are imposed on Liberia, is this regime uh, going to have a significant impact on this situation? It would certainly have a, a, uh, a financial impact, yes, and it might point a way to actually trying to deal with these conflicts in the future. How does, um, how does it the... should be stressed. It's, it's not just diamonds, it's also timber. Right. Uh, yeah, President need... Taylor does accrue a, a vast amount of personal wealth from timber co concessions. Mr. Um, you, you, I, I would like you to, I would like you to tell this program, I would like you to tell this program, what is the relationship between timber and this conflict in Sierra Leone? You've called Absolutely. them the logs um, of war, company, um, Logs of yeah. war. There, there's a company called Oriental Timber Company, yes, yes, which is, is a company. Uh, owned, uh, but owned what is the relationship Mr. Gus van der Mr. 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 What is the relationship with the war? It's very clear. Um, a, a, a great deal of the logging roads that are actually built uh, to actually get the timber out are used to transport weapons. A lot of the ships that are used to take oh, uh, the on, logs out on, also Yusle, bring in weapons. All you're doing is you're, re you're repeating you what is in the panel's report. You don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm not repeating what... I'm, no, if, no, if I'm you know speaking to people that have actually been in Buchanan report. Do airport. not lead to the Sierra Leonean border. What they, well, no, because most, most of the arms actually go by helicopter. I've spoken to people that come have actually on. been in Buchanan Port Mr. and seen Yusle, um, it, it, actually ships come in. It's shameful for you to make this false, misrepresent, this false representation it's on not, the international it, media. OTC operates in a part of Liberia that is contiguous to the Ivorian border. It is nowhere near the Ivorian border. The, the it's, it's operating border. against you all international norms. You need to go there and look at it's your geography. You are absolutely wrong. Very briefly. I, I would absolutely love to go and see that, but I would definitely You're welcome. I, definitely I, I invite you. I would like it. for you to um, come because I like to correct the mistakes that you harbor in your mind. Mr. Yearsley, how can the average consumer be affected by what's happening in Sierra Leone and Liberia, perhaps, consumer of diamonds, and just the general public? How does this impact them? The diamond um, Well, currently, I mean, the, 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 um, the consumers have to be aware there is the potential negative impact of that diamonds are having in, in fueling conflict. Uh, fortunately, at the moment, the international community are coming together, and it would be great if Liberia comes into that in a positive way. Uh, if Liberia can set up a, 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 a certification regime, everybody must um, go for it. But at the moment, there is no Mr. clear... Mr. Yusley, not uh, if Liberia can. Mm -hmm. I have made a commitment on behalf of my government to the Security Council. It's not a matter of if. We want a response. But these commitments are always, always, always come rather late at sort of at, at the time when sanctions are coming for up for debate. If, I mean, it's the, not late. If, what I mean, what, if it's late, then what are you bothering with sanctions for? Mr. Minister, the, the British deputy said it was too little, too late. You had a round of contacts with Security Council members. Have you made any progress? Do you think that sanctions would not be imposed or would be drastically reduced following your hours of private discussions? Well, I cannot say that for the council, but I've made my case to the council and I hope that they will give it serious consideration. It is not possible that it could be too late. If it's too late, then why are you imposing sanctions? Isn't it to get a desired result? All right, well... Now, we've... now if you don't want a desired result, then you must admit that the only purpose of your sanctions is purely punitive. Well, we've got to wrap up the diamond uh, issue right there. You, Liberia may join the Taliban in Afghanistan and Iraq on the sanctions list. Foreign Minister Moni Kaptan, thank you very much for coming on with a spirited defense of your country. And Alex Yearsley in London of Global Witness, which has been an organization that's been intensely following the diamond trade. Thank you very much for engaging in the discussion. Thank you very much.